2025 Porsche 911 GT3. This is it. The new 911 GT3 gets a naturally aspirated 4.0-liter flat six and a standard six-speed manual. And it's a lot more expensive than the last one. It gets some exterior, interior, and suspension tweaks, but retains its naturally aspirated 4.0-liter flat six. U.S. deliveries begin next summer with an MSRP of $224,495. To celebrate 25 years of its modern icon, the GT3, Porsche is pulling the covers off the new 2025 911 GT3. This, the 992.2 model, is a subtle update over the previous version, and it still has the GT3's party piece, a 502 horsepower, 9000 RPM, naturally aspirated flat six. Porsche has a new hybrid powertrain for the 911, but the GT3 remains purely powered by internal combustion. That's no mean feat, since current emission standards are far stricter than before. The engine now has two gas particulate filters and four catalytic converters. To amp up the excitement in the face of its new emissions equipment, the engine also gets hotter camshafts from the GT3 RS, new throttle bodies, new oil coolers, and revised heads. As before, the engine pairs with either a six-speed manual transmission or a seven-speed dual clutch, but the manual now has a shorter final drive. That addresses a complaint many have about manual Porsches, long gearing. For the front suspension, Porsche applied some tricks learned from the GT3 RS. Some of the suspension links have an aerofoil shape, which improves both downforce at the front and brake cooling. The front link of the lower wishbone has a lower mounting point, too, which reduces dive under braking, helping ensure a stable aero platform front to rear. The 911's new headlights also allowed for wider aerodynamic inlets at the front. To balance out the increased front downforce, Porsche tweaked the diffuser, engine cover lid, and inlets. There are new tires too, measuring 25535ZR20 at the front and 31530ZR21 at the rear. Porsche says the new rubber helps with wet weather performance, and a stickier track focus tire is available too. New standard wheels also cut 3.3 pounds of unsprung weight. Not a ton, but every bit counts. The YSAC package available on Porsche RS models for a few years now comes to the GT3 as well. You get a carbon fiber roof, anti roll bars, drop links, shear panel, end plates, and mirror caps. This also unlocks the ability to get lighter magnesium wheels. Porsche is also launching the GT3 Touring Package at the same time as the standard version, which, as ever, deletes the wing for a more subtle look. There's a lightball, lightweight package for the GT3 Touring, which gets the carbon fiber suspension components from the YSAC package, a body color carbon fiber roof, plus magnesium wheels and the shorter shift lever from the 911S-T. Inside, you get a lot of the same changes as seen in the new 911 Carrera, but the GT3 retains an ignition switch instead of the push-button start. There's a new design of carbon fiber bucket seats with folding backrests and optional heating, and on the GT3 Touring, you can option rear seats for the first time in any GT3. At its lightest, Porsche says the new GT3 weighs 3,130 pounds, which is slim by the standards of modern high-performance cars. Base price is $224,495, a huge rise from the $171,500 of the 2023 GT3. You'll probably still have a hard time finding one at MSRP. In its 25 years, the GT3 has gone from homologation special that sold in limited numbers to only those in the know to the most desirable 911. Everyone wants a GT3, and the demand for this one will surely be great. It's not radically different from its predecessor, and that's a very good thing.